to me, it just felt like, you know, when I saw that report, who else did they have to give Vegas for Cody Glass? I know Glass has had a bit of a rough start, but the potential is still there. The Vegas Golden Knights trade Cody Glass in a three-way team deal, kind of, uh, where they sent him essentially to Nashville in exchange for the signing rights to Nolan Patrick. It's not even Nolan Patrick, though. It's his signing rights. Like, guys, I don't... Um, th this really, really stings. Um, honestly, Vegas only giving Cody Glass one real shot in the playoffs, despite the fact that he was probably their best forward in the single game that they played, despite the fact that their all <laughs> offense all just dried up. They, they moved on from him, and that really, really sucks. He wasn't getting a decent look on Vegas' team, um, and despite the fact that center depth is the one thing that we consistently struggle with. Cody Glass uh, originally played for the Portland Winterhawks, which I live in Portland every summer for the last four years, and so I was super excited about that. Uh, he was our first ever draft pick. So there's a bit of a personal connection there with Cody Glass, and I am just so sad to see him gone. Wow. Yeah, no, this hurts. Cody Glass's development probably set back kind of a year because of his knee surgery in his rookie season. However, on top of that, people are saying that he got a decent look in the NHL. He really didn't. We gave Petro an entire year to get used to a system, and that's a grown veteran who used to captain a team and to give him that opportunity, and he flourished in the playoffs, but the regular season, oh my goodness, why did we sign him to that contract was what everybody else was thinking. With Glass, who had yet to have a full season in Vegas' lineup, I do not get it. He did not get a good enough look. He didn't. Nolan Patrick, <laughs> it depends on his cap hit, which he struggled, so it shouldn't be very high, but like, last year he had nine points in 52 games. Philadelphia wasn't the greatest last year, and uh, so, you know, like, they struggled a bit, right? Overall, he has 70 points in almost 200 games. His career high is 30. He has history with the general manager, Kelly McCrimmon, um, and I think that that added value, which sucks for Vegas, because I don't think it should have. Nolan Patrick drafted second overall in that first draft that Vegas was a part of. Uh, Cody Glass went sixth, and um, it was a three-way deal where uh, Philadelphia got Ryan Ellis from Nashville, and then Nashville got Cody Glass, and then we got Nolan Patrick signing rights. Honestly, worst end of the deal is on our part, unless we had already talked to Nolan Patrick and had a cap hit for him that we've deemed was good. Cody Glass is exempt from the expansion draft, which I'm going to make a video on that too, but uh, the, yeah, so he should have had honestly probably the most value per cap hit in this deal. I mean, now we have Nolan Patrick and Peyton Krebs, so Spongebob, yay, we're going to have a square pants line. Yeah, no, I don't like this one. Um, if Nolan Patrick is phenomenal next season and has a breakout season, then like, great. I this still sucks. I really wanted Cody Glass to stay a part of the Golden Knights for a long time, and now all three of our first round draft picks from that first year are gone. Branstrom to the Ottawa for Mark Stone, Suzuki to Montreal for Pacioretty, along with Tatar, but, um, and now Cody Glass to Nashville for essentially Nolan Patrick. The only happy feeling that I have from this is that maybe he can go to Nashville and succeed because I really want that for Cody Glass. He was done wrong by Vegas. He should have had a better look. I don't, I, I really don't get it. We also acquired Brett Howden from the New York Rangers. Uh, he has a cap hit of 800 grand, so kind of almost league minimum, which is good for us. And he's a center, which is also good for us. However, Brett Howden had seven points in 42 games, which is actually almost a high, it is a higher point per game total than Nolan Patrick. So <laughs> 49 points in 178 games. His underlying numbers aren't great, but he's a signed center that uh, is relatively young that could have a breakout year on the Golden Knights. Frick, this sucks. He'll probably be able to gain back his Winterhawks number eight on the Predators because uh, Forsberg has number nine, so he's not going to be wearing that. And Nolan Patrick, uh, who wears number 19, not sure exactly what he's going to have here, unless we get rid of Riley Smith, because that's still a possibility. I don't know, maybe he'll be 91, maybe he'll be number nine. That would, oh boy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what else to say. This this one just sucks. Uh, I, I really hope Nolan Patrick has a great season with us next year. No offense against that dude. It's just I'm really bummed about Cody Glass. If anybody does have a Cody Glass Vegas Golden Knights jersey that they're looking to get rid of, <laughs> contact me, please. Anyways, it's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.